Hello everybody, this is Charles. I'm back with another toy review. This time for Mastermind Creations uh, reformatted R03 Bobbies. Alright, otherwise it is like uh, known as the uh, Transformers Tantrum from the Predacons. So uh, this is uh, Bobbies. I just got him from uh, Metro Toys uh, yesterday. Uh, so, uh, usually I do not do third party toys, but now after I handled the uh, masterpiece, uh, Mastermind Creation uh, Hexatron, I sort of think that it's really pretty well done. Uh, so here is uh, Bovis. Uh, in terms of design wise, it looks really nice, very clean, really sharp. Um, all parts are pretty much uh, done well. Um, so I, I like the way he looks in, in robot mode at the back and the front all angles, he looks really good. Uh, his face, he has a very angry face uh, which, is just, which suits the idiom angry as a bull. So he has a really really angry face. Uh, in terms of uh, articulation on the head, you can only rotate them uh, 360, there's no up down motion. Shoulders wise uh, 360, he can, also, he can also raise his shoulders up uh, this much, uh, probably about 70 degrees. All right, and over here the elbow has a has a rotation over here, and he has double jointed elbow. But the reason for the double jointing elbow is more because of the uh, transformation, rather than uh, as a, as a feature. His uh, wrist uh, rotates as well. All right, and uh, moving down his waist, his waist is uh, similar, you know, similar as in the one for Terminus Exitron that has this this double ring at the waist portion here for the uh, waist parts uh, interesting anyway you can rotate his uh, waist 360 uh, it's more for transformation as well his leg wise uh, you can raise it up this much uh, but actually if you remove this portion you can actually raise it all the way up but this portion is part of the transformation uh, back wise you can move nearly 90 degrees front 90 degrees uh, knees he can do a kneeling pose Pretty cool. Look at this a kneeling pose. Effortlessly, really nice. Uh, I really, I really appreciate engineering toys whereby you can uh, make them have kneeling poses because it gives them really a lot of posability and it's really a lot more imposing. Just like tantrum right now, looking at him as angry as a bull. This pose is like ready to pounce, pounce on you. you know? It's really, really ready to pounce on you, ready to punch you. He can even do a karate kick. Uh, I was uh, fiddling with this toy yesterday. Yep. He can do a karate kick. Very good balance. Very good. Uh, uh, what should I say? Uh, management of uh, the center of gravity of this toy. So really cool. He does come with the uh, accessories, uh, guns and and this uh, dagger, short knives thingy. So the guns wise, they fit into the um, the hand really tightly. Wouldn't fall off. Uh, same as daggers. Daggers wise. Um, you need to insert them in this way, okay, and uh, once you insert them in, okay, it's tough to insert and you have to rotate it to actually get it in place. So it really uh, takes a lot of, uh, quite a bit of effort to actually get the uh, the uh, knife in, but once you've got the hang of it, uh, it's pretty okay. And uh, let me just put the, uh, take the gun apart. So if you want to have the uh, knife, on, on the arms, just uh, slot them into this pack. So pack holes over here. See, there's a pack holes over here. And um, yeah, this is it. And I believe the knives, based on the picture that I see on on the box art, the knives are probably gonna be used as part of the part to form the uh, final sword of uh, Predator King. You know. So well, when I get the whole set, I'll be able to do it. And of course, it comes with this backpack. This is really nice. Um, so how you fit this in is that you see these grooves over here and these grooves over here generally you just need to align them uh, and then it fits in really nice and tight see nice and tight uh, just that when you fit that back he might be he will be back heavy so you need to adjust him a little bit uh, frontward so that he doesn't topple back so yeah pretty cool so right now on to the uh, transformation of this toy uh, first thing you need to flip the head um, flip the head up and uh, next what you will do, uh, you will keep the uh, fist inside the hand, uh, arms. You're going to rotate this up a little bit. You're going to remove the uh, legs from the back. All right. And you're going to rotate this portion. All right. And once you're done in uh, this portion, okay, let me just see. Rotate it. It's done. Okay, there's supposed to be something that locks in. Let me see if I got it. 
Oh, not at this point, not at this, not at this juncture. So anyway, once you're done here, you actually rotate this upwards and then you actually uh, fit it in over here. So it locks in very nice. And next thing what you do over here for the uh, for the legs portion, you just need to align it in place, find the uh, right alignment. It might take a little while to find the uh, right alignment, uh, but just wriggle it and then, yep, you got it in place and it locks really, really well. All right, looks really, really well. And what you do for the next part, uh, you will actually rotate the feet. And there you have one feet done. Right, okay, might as well rotate the head right now. Rotate it 180 degrees. So over here on this part, you will um, rotate this to the uh, back. Okay, at the same time, once you're done with this part, you will collapse this. This peg locks into the hole over here very nicely lock in place all right and the legs align it a little bit and you lock it in place so really nice so the nice thing about this toy also is that uh, all the parts actually lock in really nicely i mean um, it's really precise there's there's a certain level of precision to it that uh, really locks the parts in place uh, nicely which i really really like and uh, here you see how the body is done. So next part, what you're gonna do, uh, you're going to just rotate his waist uh, 180 degrees. All right, careful on this part. Okay, whoops. Okay, 180 degrees, rotate. Do note that these parts uh, have to be shifted because they will not rotate together. They can't rotate past this point, so you need to really be careful on here. And what you do, uh, you actually pull this portion out from the thighs, rotate them and uh, press it down okay lock it in place over here there's actually a groove over here for you to lock it in place so same similar for the other side pull it out rotate it okay over here you see and you lock it down in place All right okay next thing what you're gonna do uh, is to um, open up this portion and this is a very interesting part of transformation over here you rotate this okay you let it cross over here and voila it's a very interesting part of the transformation. I really find it intriguing because if you were just to shift it like this, there's no way you can figure it out. There's no way you can get the feet because it's going to be the opposite side. But if you were to actually do this, it's really interesting on the transformation. So this one, rotate here, go past inside and shift it up. And there you have. So it's really, really interesting. I, mean, I just found this part really intriguing and I quite like it. And over here, what you're going to do, you're going to unpack here just to release it, okay? Similarly for the other side, just unpack it, okay? Uh, okay, unpack it over here. Let me just rotate this part, okay? It's unpack, okay? And as you unpack it, you will actually just rotate it downwards, rotate it downwards. You will uh, unpack the uh, legs as well. Let me just do this portion, release the legs, pack it over in place, release the legs, pack it over here. Now you have this portion, what you're gonna do, open this, gonna open this part, open this part, and you're gonna just gonna collapse it in. Nice ratchety joints. Okay, collapse it down. Okay, and as you collapse it down, this part goes in and this closes it. Simple as that. And once you're done here, you close this part as well. So this is uh, done for one part of the leg. So similarly for the next one, just rotate it, okay, let it rotate, rotate, go all the way in, put this black part in, close this part, and then you collapse this portion, and then you just join these two parts together, uh, let me just look at the uh, legs portion, aligned it nicely, okay, and you have to rotate the toes, over here, one, two, and here you're done. So this is uh, Bovis in uh, bull mode. Wow, 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 wow. Really fierce looking bull. Uh, <sighs> bulky, big size bull. I wouldn't want to say fat, but it does look a little bit fat. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is uh, animal beast mode or predacon mode, you call it. The only thing funny about this, uh, I, I feel, uh, okay, you move the horns by the way. I feel very funny that when you open his mouth, right, you see his face. He's like, hey, he's looking at you. He's like, 
I swallow my own face. So that is the very interesting part of the transformation. I'm not sure whether to laugh or to cry, but when you open the mouth, you see the robot face. You know, so if you really want to display him in the beast mode and open his mouth, you probably want to like display it this way. So you don't see his head there. Because it looks really awkward with the head. It looks really really awkward and weird. Like, hey. <laughs> Just looks damn weird to me. So anyway, uh you can fit the, the, the cannons over here. What you need to do actually is roll push this portion down, this tab over here. Uh, you need to fit it here, but actually it's not so easy to fit it in. So to make it easier, what you're going to do first, you're going to just take out the uh, fist part. Just lift it up. And you just hold on to this portion over here. And this is a tab, okay? So as you hold it on, you just use your thumb to press tab into the body. Okay, you might need to try one or two times. Just, uh, just to tap it into the holes. Let me just align it properly first. So align it. So, and here, see, I got it done. Snap it in nicely in place. Place it down. The fist portion goes over here inside. Okay, and then this portion just locks the fist in, and there you're done. So, yeah, this is how the. Uh, oh, yeah, I gotta collect these two parts. How the uh, boo mode is with his uh, weapon. Holds really, really tight, doesn't drop. So this is really cool. I mean, I like the boom mode with the weaponry on top. It reminds me of this uh, toy series called Zoids. If any of you remember, Zoids is like a um, like a bunch of uh, more like dinosaurs, uh, moving dinosaur with a wind up or battery operator just move on their own and their weapons. So this mode really reminds me of Zoids. Anyway, so to remove it is very easy. Just just uh, hold this and plug it out. So that's the easier way to remove it. And now I'm just going to show you how to convert it to uh, limb mode, which is pretty simple from here. So here, hit the uh, rotate, and you lock this part. This this chin part locks into this cavity in the chest. So over here, just lock it in, and there you have it. And uh, legs wise, all you need to do, I'm just do a legs first because it's more, it's easier. So legs wise, all you need to do just to rotate the toes, okay, back here, and over here, you just need to find the groove. So this this part, okay, actually goes into this part over here. So it actually locks in place really nicely. So let me just do it over here. Yeah, sorry, it's at the bottom part of the feet. So it's the bottom part of the feet here, all right, that locks into this portion. Okay, let me just do it here. I need to uh, align it a little bit. Okay. And here, we are done. All right. So over here, right, okay, the, the thing is that you want to lock this thing back. So if you just want to shift it up, it's really, really tough. You can't really shift it up. Somehow, rather, the engineering doesn't allow you to shift up. So what you need to do is to rotate here, sort of glide it in, okay, sort of glide it in, and it locks in over here perfectly and locks in on the other side as well. So see, it's locked nicely. So similar for the other side, you can't really push it up. You just need to go from the sides, okay, just go from the sides. And as you rotate, you push it up, it will glide it in very nicely and fit in. This is the easiest way to actually fit this in. I mean, based on uh, my trial of this toy. Um, next part, what you want to do, I think you need to do the bottom of the feet first. So first, I'll just remove this. So remove the knuckle here. You just need to push this sideways. Get this out. Okay. And then you uh, push this upwards, rotate it. And the next thing you want to do is to split the legs apart. All right, over here. And you need to align this nicely. So there's grooves over here, so it's groove. There's a, a catch and groove in the in the back and over here, so you just need you to align them really really nicely. Okay, you need to align them nicely. Let me just do it over here. You're gonna push it in. Okay, make sure it aligns nicely. Uh, two parts. So you once you get the bottom part, you more more or less will get the top part. So I'm just trying to align the bottom part first. Okay, so I got the bottom part in. Next thing, I'm just gonna slot in. So I got the alignment done over here. So once you've got alignment done, basically you just need to um, align it to the other side briefly. You sort of close and voila! Locks in place really nicely. Right? Locks in place really nicely. Next part, what you're going to do, you're going to spread the arms apart. You're going to rotate this down, alright? And as you rotate this down, you will rotate this portion down as well. Okay, you're going to rotate this portion down. Let me see if I got the portion correctly. Uh, no, you gotta rotate this this way. Sorry, my bad. This way, so the feet will face up. So as you move this peg, okay, this this uh, part will actually plug into this hole. All right, so over here, plugs into this hole. Similarly, this part plugs into this hole. 
Okay, and when you're done, you align these two portions. Okay, this tab will tap into here. They'll tap into each other. Over here nicely. Just do a little bit of alignment. Okay, let me just fix this uh, portion of the alignment first. Got it done. And you fix this part. And voila, you got it done. So next, last part, what you need to do, actually, same thing. You just rotate the toes. Okay, so they point upwards. Rotate the toes so they point upwards. Okay, and then you rotate the feet. And this part of the toes, okay, this part, the top part, will actually pack into here. So once you've done it, over here. Okay, let me just do it for the other side as well. Uh, there'll be our alignment. Okay. Just uh, get the alignment correct. Okay, and then adjust this a little bit. Okay, press it down. Okay. Yep, got it. And you gotta push the feet in. Yeah, and here you got it. So the alignment is really very important. So once you got the alignment done, it fits in very nicely. Similar for this side. Let me just align it a little bit more. So once you get it done, okay, let me just hold it, peg it in. All right. And the alignment is done. So cool. So it fits in really nicely over here. Everything lines up very nicely. Uh, fits in really tightly. And yes, let me just do a final check. Yep, so this is done. Uh, and what you do is you gotta flip this portion out. This is gonna be the pack of the uh, the joints, the uh, legs, the thighs over here. And here you have Bovis in his uh, limb mode. So the limb mode wise, uh, he can actually move sideways. Pretty holds really well over here. Uh, move front a little bit and the toes, so-called toes, can move up a little bit. And the balance seems pretty good. No, and it looks really big, you know, imagine this. It looks really big, uh, really big size. I think it's combined, it's a uh, fit mode, uh, it's about the size of a Henke Optimus Prime. So this is really, really big. It's really impressive. Um, despite the fact that this whole thing is made of plastic, you can really handle him uh, with uh, with ease because you, you won't be afraid of breaking anything. This this toy is made to be able to handle play, uh, which I personally think is really nice. I, I think it's really good that a toy is made this way that you can handle play and has so much articulation and has so much presence so it's really cool so uh, I personally recommend this piece it's really nice um, you can get this piece at the uh, Metro Toys right now uh, it's available in Metro Toys in their website uh, check out the description below my video link for Metro Toys website and uh, you can find this piece uh, the price stated is in Singapore dollars all right it's in Singapore dollars. so those of you who are in Singapore you can get it in this price those of you who are overseas, uh, please uh, drop them an email, go to the contact us, contact me portion, drop them an email and get a quote because uh, they will give you a quote for the price of this item inclusive of uh, shipping to your country. And uh, if you were to get this piece from them right now, okay, uh, while stocks last, they will also give you this, um, okay, they gave me this, they'll give you two pieces of this, um, this uh, what you call that? This electromagnetic electromagnetic wave filter. I think you can put this on your phone to sort of filter away some electromagnetic um, electromagnetic uh, static or crap you call it. Anyway, yeah. So this is a very nice one. This is a Decepticon logo. I'm not sure whether it comes in uh, Autobot one, uh, but basically you get two of this as a complimentary gift. So uh, do do look at the uh, link in my uh, video description below, okay? And uh, go to visit Metro Toys and uh, get these toys. All right, get Bobby's uh, while stocks last. So here's Charles signing off with uh, yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.